Hi, I'm Jolene and like Sarah already mentioned, I actually did cycle to the moon. But of course, I didn't do this alone. I had some help from my colleagues at iMinds. iMinds is an independent ICT research institute with, which gathers about a thousand researchers amongst different locations in Belgium. And most of the, these researchers are like part of the IT crowd. They, sit on, they have desk jobs, they sit on their butt all day, and so they could use some extra, some exercise. And another problem is that some of them aren't that sociable. They could use an extra push to start a conversation. About a year and a half ago, that's some people at iMind thought, this is something we want to change. We want to create a challenge that gathers everyone within the company to uh, change these things, to start exercising and to have more contact. That's when they create, created an epic goal, a distance of 356,400 kilometers that they would cycle all together. Now that's a challenge. And they track this distance by creating an online platform together with accompanying smartphone applications to keep track of the distance because, of course, it's an IT company. And next to this Bike to the Moon project, as they called it, they also organized several events, such as a Bike to the Moon pub crawl. And the last 1,000 kilometers were cycled all together at their headquarters in Ghent. It was really a fun event. After a while, they noticed that it actually worked. The Bike to the Moon project was a talk of the town at a water dispenser or the coffee machine. But we have to admit, there were also some lessons that we learned from this project. For example, the moon is far, actually it's uh, very far, and the goal was to make it within one year, but we couldn't make it. We, it took us about one year and three months. And somewhere halfway, halfway people lost their motivation and we had to give them an extra push. Another problem was that our online platform was really focused on kilometers, performer, performance, timing, and that scared some of the people. People who would have joined if this wasn't the case. We couldn't target everyone with it. So this is something that we should change too. Another problem with the platform was that it wasn't user friendly. It was just an extra hurdle for people to enter their activity. What we also learned was that the extra um, non-virtual and real life events were a great success. People liked to attend them and they really met other people there. And of course, if you want to make, to, if you want to involve everyone within the company, you should include other sports too. You can't do it with just cycling. So this is when we realized that maybe some other companies were interested as well in this platform, but they didn't have the same resources to create such an online platform. And this is when we started to create Mission Atlantis, which of course takes in mind the lessons learned from Bike to the Moon project. If you want to take a closer look, just drop by and talk to us. Thank you.